Hello, this is Below the Hill, and I've just got a new camera for Christmas that I thought I'd do some comparative tests with my old one. I got an HF M500, which has the CMOS Pro sensor in it to use with uh, as B-roll footage with my HF G10, which also has the CMOS Pro in it. I do have a couple of older cameras, which just has the CMOS sensor in it, which has more pixels, but it's not supposed to be as good. So as you can see in these comparisons, the two top cameras have the Pro sensor, and the ones at the bottom don't. And in these you know, fairly brightly lit scenes, uh, the images seem to be pretty comparable. In these shots, I just cropped the images down, so they're still 100%, but sort of the middle 50% of the screen, so you could sort of see them imported in using all automatic settings on the FXP or the full HD 1960 by 1020 settings. Um, you can see in this shot the two bottom ones with the, the poorer sensors, not quite as good as the upper ones, but you know, not horribly different. Um, I've got a couple dark scenes coming up soon where you can start seeing a lot more, you know, radical differences. That's where the CMOS Pro supposedly gets to be, uh, shows its superiority. So you can see in these shots of my interior Christmas scene, which was just sort of backlit from windows with the little lights on in the buildings, that the bottom ones are noticeably grainier than the top ones, but the top ones are also grainy. I think that's caused by like my usual band stage band shoots where you have hot spots that get it's sort of difficult for the camera to cope with. Uh, so they're both pretty gainy, but the uh, upper ones are certainly better. Here's with the uh, interior lights turned off and letting the automatic settings go. And here is where you can really tell a remarkable difference between the two uh, types of sensors um, where the lower ones are, aren't nearly as good. But uh, they do still do wonderfully for B-roll footage and shooting my band shots with multiple cameras. Works well on close-ups.